I guess kids aren't supposed to be very concerned about what goes on outside our little world of playing games and going to school. But I know one thing for sure about this world of grown-ups. There's just one show that really tries hard to give some help to the kids who want to be entertainers. And here's the man who runs that show, my friend, Mr. Red Foley. Thank you. Linda, I'll tell you what. That was mighty sweet. And being away all, so I have uh, all this week, I, I'm going to have to sort of admit that I honestly don't know what you've got planned in, in the way of your Junior Jubilee production tonight. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Foley. How would you like to be a school kid again? Well, I'd love it. Do you think you can make that possible? Well, what we're going to do, Mr. Foley, is to invite you and all the people watching to take part in our concert we're having at our school tonight. Oh, that'd be fine. Okay. We'll have a special concert. <laughs> Sing so beautifully. I understand you're having a little trouble with your schoolwork, though, huh? Well, that was because I stayed up the night before exams. Oh, that's terrible. There's nothing more important than your schooling. At your age, nothing else should matter. Now, what could have been so important that you had to neglect your studies? Watching your show. <laughs> I'll accept that. Well, that's more than my teacher did. What seems to be the problem with school? Arithmetic, you know, they want to know how many apples you can get into a barrel, how many loaves of bread, and, and I just don't know anything about that. Mm -hmm. But if they ask me about records, I can count up to a million in records. Can you? Not lately. <laughs> but how are you doing in your English? Oh, I got an A in English. That's very good. A for apps. You're going to get it from the teacher. <laughs> Maybe I can help you learn a little something. We'll do a duet and put a little English on it, shall we? Okay. Start. So you say I've got a lot to learn. Well, don't think I'm trying not to learn. Since this is the perfect spot to learn. See? Starting with the ABC of it, 
Right down to the X, Y, Z of it We can solve the mystery of it Teach me tonight An apple for the teacher Will always do the trick If you don't know your lesson In a rhythmic An apple for the teacher Will meet with great success You forgot to memorize The Gettysburg address A little bit of glamour A charm that's cute and quaint Change a lemon into a real fine teach. Just, Just a bring an apple for the teacher when, when he starts, starts to teach. Now, we're going to start with spelling. Constantinople. C O N T A T I N O P L E. Constantinople. It's as easy to sing as saying your ABC. Istanbul was Constantinople. Now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. I've been a long time gone. Oh, Constantinople still is Turkey delight on the moonlight night. Every gal in Constantinople lives in Istanbul, not Constantinople. So if you got a date in Constantinople, she'll be waiting in Istanbul. Even old New York I was once so in Amsterdam. Why they changed it, I can't say. People just like it better that way. You better take me back to Constantinople. I know you can't go back to Constantinople now. It's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Why did Constantinople get the way? That's nobody's business but the Turks. In a little red With my book and slate In a little red schoolhouse I was always late I longed to be back there Where I was a scholar In the days of yore How I'd stand right up and holler Two and two make three mm -hmm. When we should have been learned When we should have been learned About, about the golden root A little hearts were yearning Boats, women, pools. Why, we could hardly wait for the poor pot bell. The minute we heard it, we rang like mad. Oh, gee, we have to be quite as a country mouse. If I'm room one way, a little red Well, thank you, Mr. Como, for the lesson. Oh, it sure would be easy if the teachers sang with their students that way. At their salaries, what do they got to sing about? <laughs> what are you studying today, Brenda? I'm studying geometry. Geometry, good. Now, uh, do you know the definition of a square? <laughs> you don't know the definition of a square? Um... Uh, I know it, but you wouldn't like it. <laughs> Wonder what she meant by that. Oh. 